case of art imitating life. Well that, you which, well, what are you referring to? Uh, the controversy with uh, Spitzer and everything. Well that, since, that was a weird coincidence because we, um, we wrote the outline for this in the spring of 2006. So it was before that story really broke. And, and he, he was sort of dealing with a very different type of escort than we have in our film. The, 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 the super high-end GFEs like this work totally on their own. They don't have any, there's no agency or there's no middleman. This is something that the internet really makes easy, you know, is for, for people in that line of work to work solo. I think the film's about the, the way in which we, we have a story that we tell ourselves about how our lives are going and how our relationship is going. And that story often tends to ignore things that are inconvenient or that we don't really want to get into. And so part of what happens in this film is it seems outwardly that Chris and Christine are, are being very open. But as it turns out, there's something underneath all that that, that gets brought up. And so in a sense, it's about delusion. I mean, it's about, it's about you know, what you tell yourself in order to get by and that eventually that that's that's gonna that's gonna rear its head. Did you decide to use Sasha Gray as the main role? I read an article about Sasha in uh, Los Angeles Magazine in 2006. So that's how that's how I found out about her. And so when we started working on this idea, uh, we reached out to her managers and said, you know, is she interested in in being in a movie like this? The director could have used anybody for this role, but he decided to go out on a limb and select you. How does that feel? It's like an honor and a privilege. It is. You know, I, I feel very fortunate because, like you said, he could have chosen anybody, uh, somebody in it all, or you know, an unknown, uh, like most of the characters in the film. So I just feel very, very fortunate. And and the icing on the cake is that it's Steven Soderbergh because I'm a huge fan. When you saw the script, what did you think of the story? Uh, you know, we didn't get a formal script, and I had a meeting with Steven. Um, a year and a half before we even started shooting or going into pre-production. So he just kind of described the film to me and, um, you know, the A to Z, what loosely would happen in the film and that it would be all improv and, you know, a lot of people were asking me, well, there's no sex, you're not naked. And I'm like, yeah, he didn't even tell me that, you know, like, 
Had it been somebody else that didn't have the resume he has, I probably would have said no, just because of the subject matter. Like, that's too easy, you know. But but knowing him, I, I trusted in him, and um, because I know his films, you know what I mean. And I knew he wouldn't take it in a direction of over glamorizing or um, alienating the the escorting world. I guess you could say. A name that's coming up a lot on the red carpet is Governor Spitzer. We've been getting the male point of view, but what what, what perspective do you have as a female? Be honest. lot about this handy cam. Were you nice with the camera? I was pretty nice. I mean, you know, I, you know, I was no Steven Soderbergh, but I tried to hold my own. And, you know, we switched the camera off between, a, you know, all the people on the plane so that I would be in it some and they would be in it some. And, you know, we were all laughing in between shooting. It was like, you know, I can't believe that Steven Soderbergh has entrusted us with his movie with a handy cam. And obviously the movie didn't rest on our footage but it was nice to see that what we shot actually made it in. Did you get to go to Vegas, to Sin City? Is that the perfect climate? Sin City, baby. We, uh, it was a very you know, awesome experience to be walking out onto the runway and get on our private jet and land in Vegas at the, you know, again at the private airport. And you know, we had an amazing suite and it was the real like, like, like amazing Vegas experience. So we, we did it all. So I'm, am I correct? Your footage actually made to, made it into the film, and how do you how are you able well, to pick your footage, footage out from all the other footage? Probably the worst looking footage. No, <laughs> you can tell because it's obvious that we're on an airplane. TV. Check us out on the web.